So today I'm going to talk to you about one of the most commonly asked questions is flange size. So when you get your um, personal accessory kit with your Hygieia pump, it's going to come with a standard medium flange size which will look like this. Flange size, people often get confused because they think that if they're a large breasted gal that they need to have a really large breasted uh, flange to match it, but it's, it's untrue. So flange size, this is called a medium. I also have a large and we also have an extra large available through our website or any Hygieia dealer. But really what it is, it's a diameter. So it's the diameter of the tunnel. And there's no industry standard. So if you're using a different um, manufacturer's um, flange or, or breast pump and you're coming over to Hygieia for the first time, it may be different with our product. So go ahead and just realize that um, some will measure and call it a, a 27 um, or they'll call it a 29, but there's no industry standard where they measure it in this tunnel. So we just simply call ours medium. Um, it will say like 27 to 29, and that's where you're getting that variation because depending on where we measure it in this tunnel, that's it. So this is going to come standard. This one is, again, the large. And what I like to do, because this one already comes standard with all the kits, um, all the companies do this, is um, unless you just know that you have a very large nipple and before even pumping, you put this on and your nipple is touching the sides of this. So if you're right up against the side of it, you haven't even turned this pump on, then I want you to just go ahead and get to your, your local Hygieia dealer or um, order us um, through the web. I want you to go up because it's going to be too small. But if you start off, like most women, this is about the common size, so that's why it's included with the pump. If you start off and you still have room, so your nipple's going in and you still have room before even pumping, then start here and go ahead and go through the motions and pump. And what you should notice, because what happens, and it varies from woman to woman, I'm always surprised, I can have somebody with very small diameter nipples and she'll put a breast pump on and sure enough, that nipple just grows. Uh, very, very uh, fat nipple, it becomes like a fat nipple in there. So that woman just has a really good blood flow. And so then she actually needs to go up, even though without that pump turned on, it's very deceiving, she's got a small nipple. So start off, again, as long as you're not touching before even turning it on, start off with the standard one that came with your pump. Go ahead and go through all the, um, the motions of, you know, you've already cleaned it, you've already charged it, we have previous videos to that. Um, and then go ahead and start pumping. And what you should see is um, your nipple being freely going down the tunnel. Freely, meaning it's not getting caught up on the sides. That's what you're looking for for a good fit. A tiny bit of areola, right where the base of the nipple and the areola will be kind of um, going back and forth too. That creates a seal, the areola, and then you see the nipple going down the tunnel. You don't want to ever go too big. I had a client who went so big thinking the more areola the better because that's where the milk fed located in the areola. She was an exclusive pumper and when the first time I met her, the tips of her nipples were bruised because she was so large, her, nip, her areola was going down and it was hitting the back of the flange and she was getting bruised. So don't go too, I'm seeing a lot of that in the community right now where women are going too large with their flange, getting too much areola. Again, once the pressure starts, they're, they're bringing too much in. So definitely start here unless you automatically notice it's a tight squeeze before turning on your pump. And if you're seeing, lots of lot, um, room and it's going down, this is going to be the good size for you, the medium that came with the kit. If you turn it on a couple minutes, uh, different suction, you're seeing a lot of growth. You happen to be one of those women like I was talking about, how they go from the size of a pinky to a nice big fat thumb. And all of a sudden that thin nipple that starts getting really chunky, go to the next size or even the size after. Um, but this is where it would help if you went to your um, either WIC care counselor or saw a lactation consultant because that's what we do in our profession. We size flanges for women. So you do have people out there in your community, um, but they do come in different sizes. And you can see just here how they vary. And we even have an extra large there too. And again, it's about the diameter of your nipple. It's not the size of your breast. It's very common in some of the population um, they're actually some of the very small breasted um, population and they actually have one of the, the, the um, thickest nipple diameters. So just be sure to um, go ahead 
and um, get the proper fit for um, your Hygieia um, breast pump uh, accessory kit. Thank you.